I have been babying a 4 by 3 compost bin like a fool. I love the process so much. But I have to say that with the addition of this thermometer, I can now enjoy my hard labor even more, watching the temp climb into active again a day after turning etc., and having proof that my carbon slash nitrogen ratios were doled out well enough. It has just been so fun as a novice. This little tool is so easy to use and the length is sufficient. I have at least 20 picks of it as my temp climbed and I tested the core. I live in the city so it was a big deal for me to acquire sheet manure to go along with my thrice shredded oak leaves, veggie scraps, eggshells, coffee grounds from the local coffee shop etc. To have visual confirmation, again, is just so validating. Can't wait until spring, but truthfully, composting, alone, is a friggin' amazing time. Nice product. The stainless steel material is important as this will be used outside. I didn't see any note on which grade SS that they chose. It's likely 18 to 8 or 304, but if they went with 316L, then I would be amazed. Either way it should last a long while in the elements. The casing for the dial indicator is satisfactory. Be sure to have it protected from the sun's rays so that it will not fade. If you look at the video, note that I was looking for movement in the dial indicator vice accuracy. It feels fragile because it is so lightweight so be careful when handling. ID also like to note that there are more ways to compost than listed on the box, for any of those interested ID suggest researching the use of BSF maggots. I am new to composting. Well, new to successful composting. I have had soggy piles of leaves before. Slimy stacks of wet goo that just sat there for years. What I was missing was the knowledge of what is going on. The best monitoring instrument is a temperature probe. The Kate's 20-inch thermometer meets my needs. Like any instrument it needs a bit of care as well as understanding of how it works. This time proven temperature sensing technology is based on the difference in expansion slash contraction of two wires. Both wires have to be immersed in the medium for an accurate reading. If you look close, you will see two. Small dimple on the side of the probe. This is where the wires are attached. One is about halfway. Down. The other extends to a dimple close to the tip. If the probe is bent, this will affect the reading accuracy. There is no way to adjust the calibration on this thermometer. But we are not talking about rocket science here. All we are interested in is the stage of the rotting process. The color-coded dial face will tell you, in a glance, what the critters in your pile are doing. Mesophiles, happy at 70 to 90, do most of the work. Thermophiles, up to 160, are good for killing the bad stuff like pathogens and unwanted seeds. I use the University of California method of composting. I have small, three and a half cubic foot tumbler that I crank once a day. The pyrophilic stage lasts just a few hours. I have found it helpful to add back some complete compost back into the tumbler just in case the heat strawlies the batch. Daily checks of temperature, texture, and aroma tells me things are progressing smoothly. If you are producing compost, you need a compost thermometer. I've had compost pits in the past and never could decide if they were worth the trouble or not. I had heard that they were great for creating amazing organic compost but it never really turned out that way for me.
I usually had a growing heap of rotting, smelly garbage. I've recently done some more research on composting and realized I had never really followed the guidelines of successful composters. Click link in description for more reviews.